These are the Clearwater Krista lights from Clearwater Lights in California. My brother Glenn Stasky owns the company. And he sent me a set of these for Christmas to put on Alice's Kawasaki Mule. Quick overview of how I did the installation and then tonight I'll come out in the dark and uh, show you how bright they really are. Lights are mounted on the, the hood and uh, regular light switches here that just turns the little incandescent lights on. But I wired it from there to the, to the lights for the Christas. What you need to do is turn the ignition on first, turn the headlights on, and then when you turn the Christas on the light switch lights up. And on the other side over here there's a variable variable speed control, light uh, light control to dim them and, and brighten them to full power. Uh, I checked these last night. They're incredibly bright, uh, ridiculously efficient, and um, very well made. Anodized aluminum, stainless steel hardware, uh, top shelf. Traditionally uh, actually designed for motorcycle use, but uh, these work equally well here, especially in the dark Florida nights we have here. We're going to light them up later tonight. It's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. See you later. So we're back with the second phase of the Clearwater Lights Krista testing on a Kawasaki Mule. We're here in beautiful Florida, Christmas Eve. These are Christmas presents from my brother and owner of Clearwater Lights, Glenn Stasky. And uh, we've installed them on my wife's Kawasaki Mule, so we're going to give them a test. What you're looking at right now is just standard incandescent lights from the Mule. They're tiny like little flashlight bulbs. We'll start up go for a ride and then uh, during the ride you'll see when I turn the lights on. These lights are dimmable. I'll be showing them dimmed and full brightness. Then we'll give you a head-on view also. <laughs> Visibility is not that great. We're only getting about 100 feet in front of us. So we're going to turn on the Christas now. They're full brightness. You can see it's a tremendous difference. It's a ridiculous amount of light they put out. You never know what we're going to see back here. So let's see what we find. Anywhere from snakes to bear. These things really light the place up. I've chosen not to put them on the roof because these orange trees will tear them off. I'm going to turn the lights off now. It's almost ridiculous. It's pathetic how poor the lights are without the Christas. Primarily manufactured for the use on motorcycles on road, these obviously shine very, very well off off-road too. So here we go across the field. That's full brightness right there. Now I can dim them down to low, which is still brighter than stock. And then back up to high. Clearwater Christas. Get them. Merry Christmas. Okay, so this is a head-on view of the uh, Kawasaki Mule. It's a 2012 model, and uh, those are standard incandescent bulbs. Alice is going to kick on the, the, the Christas now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous bright. And uh, picture these on your motorcycle, on your car on anything. It's just pathetic how, how much light these things give off. Now that she's dimming them down, there's dimmer. You really can't even tell. All the way back up. Oh, there's a, now we're back to regular incandescence. So, uh, oh, I, you know, I can't even look at them. Gotta go. Christmas night. Merry Christmas, everybody. And Glenn, thank you again for a wonderful Christmas present. Goodbye.